center of the wealth in the world was in the middle of the Atlantic. It's now heading towards the Asia Pacific for both food security and for seafood. Uh, so, simple terms, will agriculture provide enough food for it? Uh, and as was heard earlier, it is the fastest growing food sector. It's slowing down and we have a problem. This is why this meeting may well be one of the most European Union for many years. The European Union is going to have to start pulling this graph. The blue bars are the important part we have, as we know, is that uh, as West Pacific, these people uh, have a cultural preference to eat seafood head than we will. So, either way, and this is. Hay una oportunidad de crecimiento y una necesidad de crecimiento. Oportunidad porque los mercados aceptan los productos de la agricultura. Oportunidad porque en todo el mundo están creciendo y nosotros estamos importando productos de terceros países producidos con la agricultura. Y oportunidades porque la Unión Europea tiene la mejor tecnología, la mejor calidad, la mejor seguridad alimentaria, la mejor innovación y enormes oportunidades de desarrollar este sector. Por eso es muy importante que en el próximo Fondo Europeo Marítimo de la Pesca la Comisión y la Comisaria haya incluido partidas muy importantes para desarrollar el sector de la agricultura. Y por eso yo quiero agradecerle que haya contemplado este sector y que esté apostando por un desarrollo sostenible siempre de la agricultura que nos debe llevar a que nuestro abastecimiento de productos de la pesca tenga un componente basado muy potentemente en la agricultura, lo cual hará que tengamos una menor presión sobre los caladeros y nos permita hacer una pesca más responsable. Uh, this conference was dedicated to the to our effort to give aquaculture a boost, aquaculture sector. Aquaculture in all all the different aspects and the different ways it can be boosted. We are referring to marine aquaculture, we are referring to freshwater aquaculture. We are referring to aquaculture of mussels and uh, other barnacles, to every kind of aquaculture. Why we are doing this? Because we have studies, economic studies, with very concrete figures, proving that here there is a potential of having more growth, more jobs, more production. As I have said in this very important conference, we have a gap to fulfill. What is the gap? FAO, the United Nations Organization for Food, has very good studies proving that there will be an increasing consumption of fish. On the other hand, we have the problem of overfishing and we import 65% of the fish we eat. So, it's as simple as that. We have to give this sector a boost in order to be able to create new jobs, employment and at the same time have a good production of food for us and for our children.